Welcome to the Moving to the Cloud workshop. In this workshop, we'll explore why you should consider moving some or all of your computing resources to the cloud, how you would go about doing that, and then visit some concerns schools have so you can avoid some of the common pitfalls. In this video, I'll do an overview of why, and then in the videos that follow, explore each reason in more depth. Usually the overall cost associated with cloud solutions is cheaper, be it storage, cloud apps, or if you're a school using netbooks or tablets in a one-to-one -one mobile device initiative, cloud solutions reduce your hardware needs too, so you can purchase cheaper devices. Cloud solutions are easier to scale up or down as needed with little planning and can be done instantly and often by a non-IT staff person. Measured service means you only pay for what you use, whether it's just a few apps instead of the whole suite of apps, or just a small amount of storage space compared to an entire server, you pay as you go and for what you use. Through an online interface, most cloud services can be started, changed, and terminated without ever speaking to the provider, at will, by even the most reluctant computer users. Cloud providers will generally have better uptime than your own institution, and since the services can be accessed anywhere, students and staff can work whenever, wherever, and on whatever device they want. For many cloud solutions, you just need to sign up to get an account. So if you find a solution you want to use, you can be working with it in a matter of minutes. Get going right away. Many cloud solutions facilitate sharing and collaboration with multiple authors. This means that students, teachers, and administrators can easily exchange files and work with each other and invite their peers to work on the same document or project. 